This is the formation of the Earth in a nutshell. When things got going about 4.6 billion years ago, the Earth was a huge ball of burning gases. Some of those gases moved around in space, but as time went on, the Earth cooled down and the big ball was held together by gravity. Hundreds of millions of years later and land started to form, but the continents as we know them today didn't start out like this. There was a super chunk of a continent we call Pangaea. About 200 million years ago, that broke into two, and we got two continents known as Gondwana and Laurasia. They also split, and voila, our current setup. It's actually a bit more complicated as to how we got to what we see today regarding the continents, and for many years scientists have pondered over the question of how things split up. As you'll see today, those scientists are still learning and writing about new discoveries. One such discovery was discussed in a recent paper. The title of that paper is Orogenic Architecture of the Mediterranean Region and Kinematic Reconstruction of its Tectonic Evolution Since the Triassic. We're guessing that sounds pretty complicated for most of our viewers, so we'll try to explain the paper in layman's terms. Basically, a bunch of scientists working at the universities of Utrecht, Oslo, and Zurich claim that they've found parts of an ancient continent hidden under the Mediterranean. They're calling this continent Adria. The researchers spent many years trying to figure out how this area of the Mediterranean formed over a period of 240 million years. This was no easy task, of course, and to do it they had to study the formation of a very complex region. One of the leading scientists went as far to say that this area, in geological terms, was simply a mess, saying that other areas of the world, such as the Himalayan mountain range, are actually pretty easy to study. In that paper, the scientists wrote, the region has been the cradle for the development of geodynamic concepts that link crustal evolution to continental breakup, oceanic and continental subduction, and mantle dynamics in general. Again, that's probably difficult to understand, so how did they do it? Well, they studied something called paleomagnetic sites, and they looked at a massive 2300 of them. Hmm, but what is a paleomagnetic site, you might be wondering? The answer to that is that they are sites where researchers look at the magnetization in rocks. The magnetic properties in the rocks help researchers to understand when they were formed. In short, if you study a bunch of these sites, you should get some idea as to how an area formed. As one scientific paper put it, by determining the magnetic intensity and orientation of multiple rock outcrops in an area, much can be learned about formation history, land movement, and geologic structure of the area. So, if you spent many years going over 2300 sites, you should get some idea as to how an entire area was formed over many, many years. Now back to our newly discovered continent. You remember that we talked about the supercontinent known as Gondwana? Well, bits split off of that giant hunk of rock, and one of those bits the researchers now call Greater Adria. It was about the size of today's Greenland. Most of this place was covered in water, with the scientists saying that there were tropical seas with sediments in the form of coral reefs. They said some of these sediments can be found today in the countries of Greece and Turkey, but also in mountain belts such as the Apennines and the Alps. The thing is, around 100 million years ago most of this continent was destroyed and it sank into the Earth's mantle. If you don't know what the Earth looks like on the inside, let's just imagine a layered gumball with different flavors at each layer. We live on the top, so generally you don't think about the stuff we're standing on. The top layer we call the crust, so if you want to switch the gumball analogy to a sandwich analogy, that'll work too. The crust could be anywhere between 3.1 to 46.6 miles in thickness. That's 5 to 75 kilometers. The Earth's crust is mostly made up of oxygen, iron, calcium, silicon, aluminum, sodium, magnesium, and potassium. Below the crust we have the upper mantle. The mantle is made up of mostly oxygen, silicon, iron, magnesium, aluminum, and some other minerals. The mantle is massive and it makes up much of what we call the Earth. It's where the volcanic and seismic activity happens and is said to have an average thickness of 1793 miles. So we have the crust and the upper and lower mantle and we have an outer core and an inner core. The core is made up of mostly iron and nickel, but you might also find some gold, platinum, and uranium. It's pretty hot in the inner core too, with the temperature being a sizzling 5430 degrees Celsius or 9806 degrees Fahrenheit. How do we know all this if we've only drilled 7.67 miles down? Well, it's a theory based on the art of scientific deduction. It might be 6,000 kilometers down to the middle of the Earth, but by observing what we can see, we can deduce what lies below. Back to Adria. Around 100 million years ago the continent was lost, but it left some parts behind as a kind of souvenir, and these souvenirs helped create what we now see as mountains. 
Mountains are formed by something called seduction, which is when one plate is plunged under another plate. What happened is that Greater Adria hit what's now southern Europe, and after that the tectonic plates crashed and most of that continent was plunged into the Earth's mantle. Bits of it were left on top, and we can find them in the mountains. The leading scientists said this about their discovery, ore deposits and building materials that are vital to our society are found in mountain belts such as those in the area investigated. The geological systems in which these resources form are fragmented together with the mountain belts that we reconstructed. The reconstruction is therefore useful in the search for new resources. He is basically saying now they know better what lies there and underneath parts of Europe is in fact a lost continent. He also said that the researchers now have a clear understanding of how the Earth will look in the future. But don't worry, things aren't going to suddenly change during your lifetime. There are theories about the continents moving and forming another supercontinent. But we are talking in millions of years. Does this fascinate you as much as it does us? Tell us in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video, The Evidence That the Lost City of Atlantis Existed. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.